Hi, WTA has teamed up with Whatcom Smart Trips to bring you this video and the opportunity for all 7th graders in Whatcom County to get a free bus pass this spring. Before you start this session, you should have a paper copy of the 7th grade bus trip planner, the sheet that says Meridian Middle School at the top, and a sheet that says Are You Ready to Ride at the top. Smart Trips is a program that helps people make more of their trips by walking, cycling, sharing rides, and riding the bus. How would you like to be able to go to the Birch Bay Water Slides this summer? Or go with some friends to the Linden Fair? Or even take the ferry across to Lummi Island to explore tide pools and have a picnic on the beach? Good news! We have free WTA bus passes for you and all the other 7th graders in Whatcom County, and the bus can take you all of these places. A lot of kids your age are already riding the bus on their own without adults. Riding the bus is a great first step towards becoming more independent. Taking the bus for some of your trips can be a big help for your parents and might allow you to do things you'd like to do, but they aren't able to drive you. WTA provides us with excellent bus service. The bus system is pretty simple to use and is a great way for someone your age to get around. It just takes a little bit of planning, but after a few trips it won't seem like a big deal at all. To make things even easier for you, we have designed a 7th grade trip planner you can find right on the WTA website. Let's take a look at the trip planner. We've loaded this with places you might want to go like the movie theater, the mall, Blowdale Donovan, Arnie Hanna, all the libraries, and all the middle schools. It's easy to find what bus routes go to some of your favorite spots. Just click on the tab of the place you want to go, like the Barclay Movie Theater. The destination is the Blue Star. The bus routes show as colored lines and all the streets are gray. If you click on a colored route near the theater, you will see the route number. This is the 331. The whole route will be highlighted in blue. The bus stops are small black dots. If you click on one, the pop-up will tell you the name of the stop, Woburn Street at Barclay. If you click on More Info, this takes you to the WTA website where you will see the routes that serve this bus stop in blue, the 331, 525, and 540. The times a bus will be at this stop are listed below. The online trip planner will also work on your phone or tablet. It will just look a little different. This is the page for Meridian Middle School. Starting at a familiar place is helpful. Spring break is coming right up. Let's plan a trip to the mall during spring break. If you click on the colored line along the guide, the route will be highlighted in blue and the pop-up will tell you this is Route 26. Route 26 serves your area of the county. It starts at Cordata Station near the mall, heads up Meridian, does two loops in Linden, then comes back along the guide to Cordata Station. On weekdays, this bus runs every hour and a half. For this example, we are going to start at Pole Road. This is the intersection of Guide Meridian and Pole Road. If you wanted to catch the bus to the mall, do you know which bus stop you would wait at? This is the stop on the left side of the guide. Why? Because cars on this side of the street are headed south towards Bellingham. Cars on the other side of the street are headed north towards Linden. This is a picture of the stop at Pole Road for the 26 headed south to Cordata. So looking on the map, you can click on the dot for that stop. The pop-up will tell you the name of the stop, Guide Meridian at Pole Road. And if you click on More Info, that will take you to the WTA website where you will see all the times a bus will be at that stop. Scroll down to see all the times for the day. You can see the 25X, 26, and 71X all come to this stop. The X means an express bus. These run less often, but they usually stop less frequently, so they're a little bit quicker. You can take any of these buses to the Cordata station where you will transfer to a bus for the mall. The whole schedule is also posted at each bus stop. For this example, let's catch the bus at 1053. This will be the 26 Cordata, which will take us to Cordata Station. It takes 19 minutes to get there and arrives at 1112. At Cordata Station, we are going to transfer to the 331 downtown. The 331 downtown will take you to the mall in 4 minutes. 
It leaves Cordata Station at 11.20, so you just have a few minutes to wait between buses. If you stayed on the 331 past the mall, you could go to the Barclay Movie Theater or on to downtown Bellingham. If you have any questions, just ask the driver. Okay, so you will get to the mall at about 11.24. When you get there, you will get off at this stop. You should always have your return trip figured out before you leave so you don't miss a bus and so your parents know the plan for the day. We've made it easy for you with this handout. Look at number four. To return, walk to the bus stop on East Bellis Fair Parkway and catch the 15 Cordata at 13 minutes after or 43 minutes after the hour. Check the timing for your connections to the 26 Linden, which doesn't run as often. For example, if you took the 15 Cordata at 343, you would meet the 26 Linden bus at 350 and wouldn't have a long wait at Cordata Station for your bus to Linden. When you leave the mall, your bus is going in the other direction, back up to Cordata, so you need to cross the street and wait at the stops across from the ones you arrived at. When your bus pulls up, the top of it will say 15 Cordata. All buses are named with a route number and their final destination. Be sure you are at the stop a few minutes early so you don't miss it. If you live somewhere else along Route 26, you might start your trip or finish it at a stop closer to where you live. Use the trip planner to find the stop closest to your house. Be sure your parents know what the plan is for the day and when you will be getting home. Be super responsible and call them right away if anything changes. What are some ways you can show your parents you are capable of riding the bus? Show them the 7th grade trip planner. Find your house on the map and your closest bus stop. Plan a trip together using the website. Take the bus somewhere with your parents. Ride with some friends the first few times to gain confidence. Show your parents you're ready to do this. Be sure they know what you're doing and where you're going to be. Be helpful. What are some places your parents drive you now that you might be able to take the bus? Lessons? Sports? It might be a big help if you can take the bus, even if it's just one way. Once you get the bus figured out, you'll see it really comes in handy. If you babysit, it's fun to take kids to the library for story time. Or maybe you can take a younger sibling to their swim lessons this summer. My daughter would take the boys she babysat to different parks by bus. They loved going to the beach at Boulevard Park. So to wrap up, find the place you want to go on the trip planner. Find the bus route that goes there. Check when that bus comes by your house or leaves Cordata Station. You might have to take the bus downtown to meet the bus that will take you to your final destination. Plan your return trip and jot down all the times you will be catching the bus. This way you won't have to look things up again if you forget. If you tend to lose track of time, you might want to set an alarm on your phone for 10 minutes before you need to catch the bus. If any of this is hard to figure out with the trip planner, just call WTA and they will tell you all the buses and times right over the phone. We realize you might not live near a bus stop, but maybe you have a friend who does. Team up with them to use your bus passes and give the bus a try. It's great to know how to get around by bus. This is the paper version of our trip planner. There are step-by-step -step instructions of how to get fun places. Take this with you when you go to these places so you have the bus schedules right in front of you. Spring break is only a week away. Make a plan now with some friends to see a movie, swim at Arnie Hanna, ice skate at the Sportsplex, or roller skate at Linden's Gateway. You could even meet your parents at work one day and go to lunch with them. Make plans now while everyone is thinking about the bus. The pass we are giving you is good for three months, April, May, and June. This is a quarterly pass worth $40. If you want to buy a pass over the summer, a one-month pass is only $15. Don't lose your pass. It will not be replaced. If you're looking for something fun to do this summer, we run a one-week adventure camp where we hike one day, ride bikes across town, and visit fun spots. We finish with a scavenger hunt by bus. Look for the camp in the Summer Leisure Guide and sign up through Bellingham Parks and Rec. Okay, almost finished. Find the sheet that says, Are you ready to ride? at the top. In order to get your pass, you need to take this quick quiz. Pause this video and circle your answers right now. Then click the play button when you're finished. Okay, let's go over the quiz. 1. Where do buses travel? B. On specific routes. 
2. How can you find a bus that's going where you want to go? A. Look at a WTA map. B. Use the 7th grade bus trip planner. C. Call 676-RIDE. Or D. All of the above. D is the answer. 3. How are bus routes named? B. With numbers and the name of the place to which they are going. 4. There are bus stops on both sides of the street. The one you want is the one where A. All the cars passing the bus stop are headed where you want to go. 5. You want to go to the mall, but the bus route that's closest to you doesn't go there. What do you do? C. Ride to Bellingham Station or Cordata Station and transfer to another bus. 6. When you're waiting for the bus, how do you know when your bus will arrive? A. Read the times listed on the bus stop sign. B. Use the 7th grade bus trip planner. C. Call 676-RIDE. Or D. All of the above. D is the answer. 7. How can you be sure you're getting on the right bus? A. Read the sign above the windshield. B. Ask the driver as you board the bus. And D is the answer, both A and B. Number 8. How often do you currently ride WTA buses? There isn't an incorrect answer. Just circle what applies to you. On the back of your quiz is a permission slip. A parent must sign this and you need to return it to your teacher. You will pick up your bus pass at the office. Thanks for participating in the 7th grade bus pass program. Have fun exploring with your friends by bus.